maid of honor. The bride's first lieutenant. What does a maid of honor do? The scope of the maid of honor's role in the wedding depends upon, one, how much responsibility she is willing to take on and, two, how much responsibility the bride is willing to delegate. Usually the maid of honor is chosen because she is one of the bride's very closest friends, and her job description as maid of honor is similar to her activities as a friend. A. De Camp. The maid of honor does much more than simply walk down the aisle ahead of the bride and stand beside her during the ceremony. She is the highest ranking personal assistant to the bride during the wedding preparations. The maid of honor shoulders some large responsibilities such as hosting the bridal shower and bachelorette party and helping to choose the bridesmaid's dresses. But she is also there just to be supportive of the bride to act as a friend and confidant and to help her in ways both great and small. Throughout the weeks and months of wedding planning the maid of honor is involved every step of the way from choosing a dress and wedding location to helping wrap favors and set up for the reception. Party Hostess Two of the larger responsibilities of the maid of honor are hosting the bridal shower and the bachelorette party. As one of the bride's closest friends the maid of honor is the ideal candidate to host these gatherings. She knows best what type of party the bride will enjoy and what types of gifts are most suitable for the bride's taste. Because the bridal shower and bachelorette party are aspects of the wedding preparation the bride usually has little control over she'll have the pleasure of not stressing about them. She delegates these duties to her maid of honor and rests assured that her friend will handle them admirably. Wardrobe consultant Many times the maid of honor plays a key role in selecting dresses for the wedding. She ordinarily chooses her own dress for the wedding from a selection provided by the bride. Once the color and style of the maid of honor's dress has been selected she works hand in hand with the bride to choose the bridesmaid's dresses. Their style and color will complement the maid of honor's dress while taking into consideration what looks best on each of the bridesmaids. The maid of honor often assists the bride in choosing her own wedding dress. Advisor and confidant. The wedding day is understandably hectic for the maid of honor. Although she has supported the bride throughout the planning process her most important responsibilities take place on the actual day of the wedding. Besides standing at the altar beside her friend the most important role of the maid of honor this day is to keep the bride calm and to handle any last-minute problems that may arise. Angel in chief. Like most things in life few weddings go exactly as planned, and it's the maid of honor's duty to be sure that any problem doesn't upset the bride. Emergency supplies the maid of honor should keep on hand include extra stockings, lipstick in the bride's color, tissues, safety pins and hairpins. These can come in handy if the bride has any last-minute trouble with her attire, hair or makeup. The maid of honor plays the important role of ensuring that the bride looks her best throughout the day. Counselor and friend. When all is said and done the most significant role of the maid of honor is to be a friend to the bride. The planning and preparations and the actual wedding itself can be very stressful and emotional for the bride. What the bride needs more than anything else during this time is someone who will offer a sympathetic ear and practical advice. This then, is the most important function of the maid of honor. Bridal shower planning tips Historically brides have been showered with love and gifts on their bridal shower party. Although the maid of honor normally organizes the bridal shower showers can be organized by anyone close to the bride. To be more politically correct, couples may decide to opt for a couple shower. It's the same concept as a bridal shower but it is not exclusive to female friends and family. A couple shower enables friends and family to celebrate both bride and groom. Whether it's a bridal shower or a couple shower planning the event takes considerable effort. So read on to learn some fun and helpful bridal shower planning tips. Planning the shower is the responsibility of the honor attendant or honor attendants. It's quite possible for the bride to choose more than one honor attendant. So it's quite possible that planning the shower would be a team effort. If there is only one maid of honor she shouldn't hesitate to ask for help from the other bridesmaids, friends and family. Hint several people involved in the planning process can help but it can also create conflict. Choosing the right date for the bridal shower is of paramount importance. There is no rule about how much time before the wedding a shower needs to take place. It can take place several months or a couple of weeks prior the wedding day. Often bridal showers are planned in the form of a surprise party. Regardless of the date of the shower guests should be notified well in advance. 
make sure that the date doesn't conflict with holidays or other events that would prevent the guests from attending the party. A bridal shower doesn't need to be an expensive party but it certainly can be. Be sure that your budget is set early in the planning process. Once your budget has been determined be sure the required funds are set aside. Don't be a hero and ask for help. Just because you plan the shower it doesn't mean you've to pay for the whole thing. Unless you are independently wealthy ask all the bridesmaids to help out. A bridal shower can be a discreet get-together or an extravagant party with some great bridal shower favors. The sky is the limit and of course your budget. If you organize the party you should know enough about the bride to determine what kind of shower she would enjoy the most. Would she enjoy a relaxed shower at somebody's house or is she expecting a more formal party in a hotel ballroom? Does she have specific hobbies or interests that would provide an interesting theme for the party? You should only invite guests to the bridal shower who will also be invited to the wedding. If you are unsure about who should be on the guest list feel free to ask the bride to help out. If you are organizing a surprise shower ask the bride's mother or someone who would know about the wedding reception guest list. It's very smart to include information about where guests can purchase presents in the shower invitations. The guests will appreciate your guidance. After all it makes it easier for them purchase the proper gifts. The bridal shower invitations can be traditional cards or even e-cards. Most people have an email address so an electronic invitation might be a feasible option for your shower. E-cards are not only freely offered on many websites but they're also fast. You send them hour one minute and they're delivered the next. If you have a larger budget you might be interested in sending out personalized chocolate bars as bridal shower invitations. Regardless of what form of invitations you decide to use make sure they're sent out well in advance. The bridal shower invitations should be sent out about two months prior to the bridal shower party. Food is an important aspect of the planning process and it's very much influenced by where the bridal shower is held. If you are planning an at-home bridal shower you may prepare the food yourself or you've a catered party. If you are having the shower in a restaurant or a hotel make sure they prepare one of the bride's favorite meals. Remember, bridal showers are supposed to be fun so don't stress too much. After all you are planning a party. Unique bridal shower favors. If you are planning to tie the knot one of the very first things you need to plan is how to make your bridal shower memorable. There are lots of unique bridal shower favors that are available for any would-be bride to choose from. Here are some great ones to consider. Handbag holder. Available in three beautiful color floral design accented with rhinestone this purse caddy is set on the table to hold your purse or handbag near you so that you won't forget about it or have to set it down on a dirty floor. Corco coin purse. Croco coin purse is a stylish, practical and colorful available in shades of black, pink, red and brown. These functional little bags keep you organized with a fashionable edge. Personalized bridal shower gel. Your bridesmaids and guests will enjoy being pampered with this lightly scented gel kissed with the fragrance of sweet pea and violets. This is a flirtatious blend everyone will be sure to enjoy. Izzy Straw Gift Bag. Your favorite girls will love to have these unique summer straw bags as their goodie bag and keepsake of your bridal shower party. They come in different designs and you can add other goodies too such as lip gloss, soaps and other treats. Manicure Bag. Unique color vinyl mini purse that includes a mini manicure set to go. They come in adorable colors, pink, blue, lavender and pearl white. Mini floral jewelry box mini antique finish floral design footed jewelry box best for jewelry such as stud earrings, rings and silver chain necklaces and pendants but not suitable for larger jewelry items. Makeup pouch available in assorted colors and patterns. This mini makeup pouch made with Asian design fabrics is unique because no fabric is cut exactly alike. Bridesmaid dress sachets. These adorable scented sachets in the shape of bridesmaids dresses are fragranced with lavender will delicately scent your bridesmaids pajama drawers or lingerie drawers available in a variety of colors with a silver metal hanger for easy display. Black lace corset potpourri scented potpourri in the shape of this beautiful black lace corset makes a great gift to the bride's guest as her bridal shower favor perfect as a decoration for the bedroom or as a linen sachet for the drawers. These are just some examples of favors that you can consider for your very own bridal shower party. Hopefully this summary of unique and interesting products could make your selection much easier. Made of honor speech. 
simple tips you can use right now. One of the if not the most important duties of the maid of honor is to give the maid of honor speech. This speech is a big part of the wedding ceremony and usually happens within the first half of the wedding reception before people leave so you will no doubt have a full crowd when giving your speech. While the best man's speech is equally important he will focus more on the groom than on the bride so it's your job to keep the bride happy and entertain her with your speech. There are a few tips when it comes to giving a maid of honor speech that will almost guarantee it to be a big success and that's what I'm going to show you in this article today. The best speeches are usually the funny ones where everyone in the crowd is laughing not just the bride. Telling stories about growing up together and funny things that happen to you is a great way to get your speech going. A lot of maid of honors when giving a speech like to wing it and not write anything down on paper and just hope for the best. I think on such a big day, the least you can do is make an effort and write down a few prepared remarks. We all know that the majority of people don't like to speak in front of other people. We tend to get very nervous when we know we have to make a speech and having prepared notes makes life a lot easier on that front as well. Here are some of the things you can talk about in your speech. If you and the bride grew up together you could talk about all the silly things you did as kids. You should talk about how you and the bride met each other and how you became friends. This is quite a popular way to start a speech by letting the audience know who you are and how you know the bride. I feel it sets the right tone for the rest of the speech. You can talk about what the bride used to tell you about the groom when they first started dating and make a funny story out of that. Then if you want to get into a more substantial part of your speech start talking about how great the bride and groom look together make a spiritual comment or something meaningful from you to the bride and groom and of course you cannot forget to give them some marital advice then wish them luck on their journey. Hopefully these tips will give you some idea on what to say when giving a maid of honor speech. The bridal bouquet. Bridal bouquets are an inseparable part of wedding ceremonies. The history of bridal bouquet dates back to ancient times. Historically, bouquets symbolized fertility and prosperity. One cannot envision a bridal ceremony without a bouquet. Bridal bouquets have evolved through the ages. In the 18th century, the practice of carrying a bouquet of flowers or herbs became a popular tradition that symbolized delicateness, purity and new life. Today, bridal bouquets are tossed to assemble single women to symbolize new life and to pass on the bride's good fortune. Wedding bouquets can be as simple as a small collection of flowers or extravagant with a price tag of one thousands of dollar. It's quite common for brides to have two bouquets. The more elaborate of the two bouquets is made to be carried down the aisle and used in photographs while the smaller bouquet is to be thrown into the crowd of unmarried girls. Florists take great pride in the wedding bouquets they design and offer. Rarely is the simple group of daisies seen at today's weddings. Instead, wedding bouquets now consist of a variety of floral designs, including combinations of calla lilies, roses and sweet pea or traditional white lilies and roses. Even sunflowers have made their way into modern wedding bouquet arrangements. The most commonly used flowers are roses, tulips, peonies, hydrangeas, orchids, calla lilies or gardenias. When choosing the flowers for your bouquet consider the type of ceremony planned the location of the ceremony and the style of dress you will be wearing. For example a formal church wedding requires a more formal bouquet than an informal non-traditional wedding. Complement an elegant ballroom gown with a bouquet of proper proportions. The bridal bouquet should always complement the gown but it should not become the center of attention either. The bouquet should also be proportional to the bride's height. A cascading bouquet may be more appropriate to a tall bride than to one of smaller stature. One image that invariably comes to mind is that of the bride in her white dress and veil carrying a beautiful bouquet of flowers. For some reason when we think of a wedding we always think of the wedding bouquet. Whether you carry a single rose or a bouquet of orchids, the flowers you choose for your wedding should serve as a symbol of your love. Your gown and veil in addition to choosing a stunning dress you'll also want to find some nice accents to go along with it. In many cases this would be jewelry and a veil but can include many other accoutrements. The jewels. For each particular style of wedding gown you need to choose particular styles of jewelry. And since you can't wear your gown into jewelry stores you'll want to wear a shirt with the same color as your dress as well as the same neckline. This is the best way to capture the right look. Starting with the earrings you can look to your hairstyle to determine how to dress them up. 
If you've a shorter style or you are looking to pull your hair up for the wedding day you will want to pick longer earrings that extend towards your neck. If you want something simpler then diamond or rhinestone studs can be equally beautiful. The neck is the focal point for most brides, so you can really dazzle them here. Look at your dress to see if you've a lot of detail or not. If you do, you'll want to choose a necklace that's a little less extravagant. If you don't follow this advice, you will have multiple looks competing with one another and it can create a very confused and scattered look. For a simple dress with a deep neckline you should be looking at larger pendants or a more complicated style. Pearls always seem to work but try on different lengths to make sure that they complement the entire look. Here comes the veil while many modern brides are opting to not have a veil they still remain a mainstay for wedding attire. Veils today can come with rhinestones and tiaras built in and can make a dramatic statement as the bride enters the church. What you want to keep in mind though is that the more complicated the veil the less you want to do for your jewelry. It's another case of the competing looks and balancing the overall effect of the details. You don't want to have so many things going on that people forget to look at your face. The best advice is to find one feature or one accessory that you love and make that the most complicated thing that you wear whether it's a tiara or lovely diamond earrings, choose only one. Your pictures will thank you. Bridal shower planning tips. Historically brides have been showered with love and gifts on their bridal shower party. Although the maid of honor normally organizes the bridal shower showers can be organized by anyone close to the bride. To be more politically correct couples may decide to opt for a couple shower. It's the same concept as a bridal shower but it's not exclusive to female friends and family. A couple shower enables friends and family to celebrate both bride and groom. Whether it's a bridal shower or a couple shower planning the event takes considerable effort. So read on to learn some fun and helpful bridal shower planning tips. Planning the shower is the responsibility of the honor attendant or honor attendants. It's quite possible for the bride to choose more than one honor attendant. So it's quite possible that planning the shower would be a team effort. If there is only one maid of honor she shouldn't hesitate to ask for help from the other bridesmaids, friends and family. Hint several people involved in the planning process can help but it can also create conflict. Choosing the right date for the bridal shower is of paramount importance. There is no rule about how much time before the wedding a shower needs to take place. It can take place several months or a couple of weeks prior the wedding day. Often bridal showers are planned in the form of a surprise party. Regardless of the date of the shower, guests should be notified well in advance. Make sure that the date doesn't conflict with holidays or other events that would prevent the guests from attending the party. A bridal shower doesn't need to be an expensive party, but it certainly can be. Be sure that your budget is set early in the planning process. Once your budget has been determined, be sure the required funds are set aside. Don't be a hero and ask for help. Just because you plan the shower, it doesn't mean you have to pay for the whole thing. Unless you are independently wealthy, ask all the bridesmaids to help out. A bridal shower can be a discreet get-together or an extravagant party with some great bridal shower favors. The sky is the limit, and, of course, your budget. If you organize the party, you should know enough about the bride to determine what kind of shower she would enjoy the most. Would she enjoy a relaxed shower at somebody's house, or is she expecting a more formal party in a hotel ballroom? Does she have specific hobbies or interests that would provide an interesting theme for the party? You should only invite guests to the bridal shower who will also be invited to the wedding. If you are unsure about who should be on the guest list, feel free to ask the bride to help out. If you are organizing a surprise shower, ask the bride's mother or someone who would know about the wedding reception guest list. It is very smart to include information about where guests can purchase presents in the shower invitations. The guests will appreciate your guidance. After all, it makes it easier for them purchase the proper gifts. The bridal shower invitations can be traditional cards or even e-cards. Most people have an email address, so an electronic invitation might be a feasible option for your shower. E-cards are not only freely offered on many websites, but they are also fast. You send them our one minute and they are delivered the next. If you have a larger budget, you might be interested in sending out personalized chocolate bars as bridal shower invitations. 
Regardless of what form of invitations you decide to use, make sure they are sent out well in advance. The bridal shower invitations should be sent out about two months prior to the bridal shower party. Food is an important aspect of the planning process, and it is very much influenced by where the bridal shower is held. If you're planning an at-home bridal shower, you may prepare the food yourself or you have a catered party. If you are having the shower in a restaurant or a hotel make sure they prepare one of the bride's favorite meals. Remember, bridal showers are supposed to be fun so don't stress too much. After all you are planning a party. Bridal shower party planning. The bridal shower is the party prior to the wedding prepared by the bridesmaids or close female friends. The purpose of the bridal shower is to you never guess shower the bride with good wishes. Clearly the bride is the center of attention at the bridal shower party. It doesn't matter who is hosting or organizing the event. However family was discouraged from hosting bridal showers because it may look like they're digging for gifts. There is no law about who is to organize the shower but it's usually left for the bridesmaids, friends or family. The location of the party is typically someone's house but bridal showers are often held at restaurants. One of the most significant aspects of planning a successful bridal shower party is to only invite people who will be invited to the wedding. Anyone invited to the shower has every right to be expecting an invitation to the wedding. To avoid uncomfortable mistakes be sure to consult the bride and key decision makers about the guest list. The bridal shower just like your wedding should be on a day that is convenient to attend. Saturday is probably the best day to have the bridal shower. It helps your guests to attend. The bridal shower should be close to the wedding day but not less than two weeks before. Bridal shower favors are an important ingredient of the party. Some of the most popular bridal shower favors are personalized chocolates, candles, wine stoppers, manicure sets or personalized bath gels. In case you've a beach theme bridal shower your favors can complement it. For instance beach chair favors dolphin wine stoppers or seashell candles are very popular beach bridal shower favors. Written invitations are optional. Most people have an email address so invitations through email are a quick and cost-effective option. If the party is at someone's home usually finger food is served. Pizza is another common choice of food. Bridal showers are informal events and you don't have to make a big deal about the food. Bridal shower party countdown The most important secret to have the best possible bridal shower party is careful planning. If your bridal shower party is carefully planned it will be not only more organized but a lot of fun. Paying attention to details is what makes a wonderful bridal shower party. If you treat your bridal shower party just like any other project you've a good chance of making it a success. Proper planning is the most important first step to take toward a great bridal shower party. The following list can serve as a simple outline for your overall bridal shower party planning. Follow the outline to help plan the bridal shower party. Be sure to check or underline each completed task so you can concentrate on the incomplete items. It is also helpful to use actual dates to meet your deadlines. First steps. The most important first step is to select the appropriate date and time. Be sure to check with the most important participants and make sure the date works for everyone. Setting a conflicting time for a party is a bad start. Set your budget don't purchase anything until you have set your budget. Select the place. A favorite restaurant is a great location but a friend's house works on a tight budget. Prepare your guest list. Your guest list is limited by your budget. Five to six weeks prior the bridal shower party. Select method of invitations you can save money by sending e-invitations, your guests are internet savvy. Make a decision about the shower theme a popular theme is beach party. One month prior to the bridal shower party date. Send out the bridal shower party invitations. Decide on food select caterer or restaurant if you wish to use one. Research bridal shower party favors. Two weeks before the bridal shower party. Based on RSVPs from the invited bridal shower party guests make final arrangements regarding food and other planned activities. Last minute preparations. Contact caterer or restaurant if you use one to make sure they're ready for the bridal shower party. Put together any accessories you plan to use for the bridal shower party. Wrap gifts and prepare party favors. Make sure a video recorder and cameras are available to record the bridal shower party. 
Bridal shower party advice. The bridal shower is the pre-wedding party organized by the bridesmaids or close female friends. Its purpose is to shower the bride with good wishes. Obviously, the bride is the center of attention at the bridal shower. Although it should not matter who is hosting organizing the event, traditionally family was discouraged from hosting bridal showers because it may look like they are digging for gifts. There is no rule on who is to host the shower. The bridesmaids, friends or family usually hosts it. The place of the party is usually someone's house but bridal showers can be held at restaurants. One of the most important aspects of planning a successful bridal shower is to only invite guests who will be invited to the wedding too. Anyone invited to the shower would have every right to be expecting an invitation to the wedding. The bridal shower should be close to the wedding day but not less than a couple of weeks before. Bridal shower favors are an important part of the event. Some of the most popular bridal shower favors are personalized chocolates or personalized bath gels. If you've a beach theme bridal shower your favors can complement it. For example dolphin wine stoppers or seashell candles are very popular beach bridal shower favor ideas. Written invitations are not mandatory. Most people have an email address so invitations may be the most cost-effective option. If the party is at someone's home usually finger food is served. Pizza is another popular choice of food. Bridal showers are in formal event and you don't need to make a big fuss about the food. To avoid embarrassing mistakes always consult the bride and key decision makers about the guest list. The bridal shower just like your wedding should be on a day that is easy to attend. Therefore Saturday is probably the best day to have the party. It enables your guests to attend. Bridal shower invitations. A bridal shower is a great event leading up to the wedding where wedding attendants offer gifts and celebration to the bride and groom. There are lots of things you can bring to a bridal shower to have a wonderful time. The bridal shower invitations themselves are a huge part of the shower. But there are some traditional guidelines for invitations that should be followed. The bridal shower is typically thrown by the maid of honor unless other arrangements have been made. Whoever the host may be it's important to be familiar with the traditions. Who should be invited to the bridal shower? A bridal shower can be just a women's event or can be co-ed. It's up to the bride ultimately and whoever is hosting the shower should check with the bride. Typically the bride will invite all the women who are invited to the wedding as well as the bridesmaids, mothers and grandmothers. Where should be the location of the bridal shower? Typically the shower is held at the house of the maid of honor or at a restaurant. Again the host should check with the bride to see what is most convenient for guests and family. Some showers are long distance where everyone meets without the guest of honor who may be in another location. The guests call the bride and describe the gifts and then wrap them up to await the bride's arrival before the wedding. If the bridal shower is to be held at a restaurant previous arrangements should be made with guests about payment and with the restaurant for reservations. Should you request an RSVP for the bridal shower? It depends on the type of party and type of setting. If it's important to have an accurate head count for the caterer and RSVP is necessary. If it's more casual type of shower RSVP may not be needed. This is completely up to the host. When should the bridal shower be held? Bridal showers are typically held two weeks before the wedding. However with people having to travel long distances it's sometime more convenient to have the shower a day or two before the wedding so everyone is able to attend. Having the bridal shower sometime before the wedding gives the bride and bridesmaids more time to prepare the week before the wedding. What's the theme? There are lots of themes for bridal showers. And invitations can be made to incorporate any of these themes. Whether it be lingerie, kitchen, hardware there are invitations to coordinate with any theme. The theme of the invitation should also reflect the style and personality of the bride. For the maid of honor the bridal shower can be the biggest task before the wedding. All these factors are very important when choosing invitations for the bridal shower. Choosing the right bridal shower invitations that coordinate with the theme and sending them at the right time is a great way to start a perfect bridal shower. And choosing all the right information to include in the invitation is just as important and sending them to the right people will make the bride happy. For many brides the hairstyle they choose for their wedding day is almost as important as the dress they choose. While every bride wants her hair to look great on her wedding day there are also many factors to consider in choosing a style. 
Women with longer hair often have an especially difficult time deciding on a hairstyle. Designing wedding updos takes a great deal of planning. An updo is essentially a hairstyle that involves pinning the hair up so that is off the neck. There are many different styles of updos available and the bride may find choosing the perfect one to be a challenging task. The bride has a lot of factors to consider when choosing a hairstyle. This article will outline some of the factors to consider when deciding on wedding updos. The shape of the face is two of the most important factors to consider when choosing wedding updos. This is important because certain styles of updos are more appealing on faces of a particular shape while other styles may create an unappealing look. For example some hairstyles may make a round face appear even rounder while other hairstyles may create a slenderizing illusion. The veil or headpiece which will be worn should also be considered when choosing wedding updos. While the shape of the face is very important the headpiece is equally important because it will influence the types of styles which can be used. Once the headpiece is chosen the bride-to-be can start choosing a hairstyle. The process of choosing wedding updos usually begins with paging through wedding magazines or scrolling through websites. Most soon-to-be brides get their inspiration from magazines and websites which focus on weddings. Seeing models with hairstyles you like can give you the general idea of what type of hairstyle you will choose. When looking through these magazines and websites it's important to consider the shaper of the face of the models in the hairstyles you like. If they have face shapes which are similar to your own these styles will likely be flattering. However if the models have faces which are shaped drastically different from your own you may find the style to be unflattering. The next step in the process of choosing wedding updos is to visit a salon to experiment with different styles. If you already have a hairstylist you trust or have recommendations from other friends you can choose this stylist to complete your wedding day look. Otherwise you might need to visit a few salons to see pictures of their previous work before deciding on a stylist. Once you've chosen a stylist you can do a trial run to see how the hairstyle looks with the headpiece. Buying a bridesmaid cheap dress bridesmaid the maid of honor is the next important to the bride herself. She not only stands next to the bride but also carries her flower basket and takes care of all the needs of the bride. Bridesmaid is usually a close friend of the bride or a young cousin of hers. Tips to buy a perfect bridesmaid dress cheap but classy. A bridesmaid dress should be one that complements the bride and her dress in all ways. While buying the dress there are lots of bewilderment to avoid this keep in mind the following one. Color. The rule of thumb for buying a bridesmaid dress is that it should complement the bride's dress. The bride is the focal point of the evening so this should not be distracted by anything flashy on the bridesmaid dress. Traditionally a bridesmaid's dress is sober white. To give a formal look choose an immaculate white and black. The bridesmaid will look stylishly elegant in this. To give a romantic look to your young bridesmaid choose a white dress laced with black or a black wrap. Apart from these color that are forever traditional and dramatic, soft pastel colors like green, baby pink, soft sea blue, lilac are much in vogue. 2. Fabric. This aspect of the dress is very important for it decides the fall and the comfort. To get the perfect fall for the bridesmaid dress, go for chiffon, crepe or georgette. Heavy stuff is a strict no-no. Fabric should be smooth and comfortable on your body. You should be able to carry it off. Selection of fabric heavily depends on weather, the time of the year when the ceremony is to be held. Summers call for lighter fabric while for winters silk is good though silk dress will be on a costlier side. For a cheap bridesmaid dress that looks splendid, there's a tip try a normal fabric dress with silk lace or sequined work at neck. This will not only be different but also simply classy. Wrinkle-free fabric is more comfortable. 3. Place of wedding in today's era when couples are experimenting with very new places to get married like underwater or sky, this aspect holds great importance. For a ballroom wedding, dress can be flowy but on the contrary for a beach wedding, length of the dress needs to be cut short for fabric drip-free. 4. Length of dress. You can choose between floor-length or tea-length dress. Now this decision rests primarily upon two factors. A. Age of bridesmaid. A very young girl may not be able to carry floor-length dress and trip over to create a pandemonium on the final day. Also for a beach location wedding a T-length bridesmaid dress is the best. Decide on the length keeping these factors to avoid any embarrassing situation. 
5. Style Though the traditional style is a one-piece evening gown, but following the contemporary styles much in vogue is a two-piece dress. It can be a mix and match of contrasting color. Play around with colors a little but as long as you feel comfortable. Do not overdo it. 6. Accessories In the anxiety to buy the perfect bridesmaid dress, we usually tend to forget the accessories. But good selection if accessories can make a cheap bridesmaid dress look pricey and that's the trick. Uh, jewelry keep them simple. A pearl set looks classy or you can simply try danglers to dramatize the look. B. Flowers match the color of your dress with flowers. It will greatly accentuate the complete look. C. Shoes comfortable shoes of the right height is the key to a good dress. A biting shoe might force you to sit through the dance party and that for sure will be utterly miserable. It's not the price of the dress it's how you carry it. Use a little creativity of your own to personalize and instantly your bridesmaid dress will be beautiful. Bridal shower games ideas. So your marriage is on the cards. It's time for a bridal shower party. At the bridal shower party, family and friends will give gifts and lots of blessings for you. The origin of the bridal shower is quite interesting and can be traced back to Holland. It's an old story which states that a Dutch girl fell in love with a miller who was very poor when she told her father he forbade their marriage. So the young lady decided to marry the miller and stayed with him despite his poverty. As the neighbors heard about the news of them nearly starving they came with help they showered gifts and money on the newly married couple. From the money and gifts showered to the couple they set up a good home and a good life for themselves. Since then this tradition of bridal showers has been in practice. Though today the celebrations of bridal shower are grand and all full of gaiety. No bridal shower celebration is complete without bridal shower games. These games will add life to your party and keep the guests entertained. Bridal shower games really get the party going. You can even be creative while setting the games for your bridal shower party. In fact the more bridal shower games you play the better. With today's tradition of inviting friends, work colleagues and family members to a bridal shower games can be a great way to break the ice for people who don't know each other. Who am I bridal shower game The game Who Am I adds smiles and vitality to the whole party with the added benefit of being a great first icebreaker. To play this game all you've to do is to prepare some index cards. On each card write a name of a famous personality. As soon as the guests arrive attach a card to everyone's back. Attach them in such a way that the guest is not able to see it, while the others can. Then start the real test. The guests have to ask each other for the clues so that, that they can know the name attached to their back. The first person to identify the correct name is the winner. The wedding alphabet game The wedding alphabet game is really fun. The game involves a combination of wit and intelligence. The game is simple. The host initiates the game by describing a wedding item ritual or tradition starting from the letter A they will include in their sentence the item or the culture starting from A. The next guest adds another item or anything after that sentence starting from B. This game continues as the sentences keep on building. If a person is unable to add an item of the letter they get they drop out. The guest who stays longest wins the game. Caught in the middle game. The bridal shower game caught in the middle promises to bring loads of laughter and activity to the party. The game is quite simple. Everybody is made to sit in a circle, then a bag is provided to one guest. As the music plays on the guest has to pass it over to the other guest. This passing goes on till the music continues. As soon as the music stops the one with the bag in their hand gets caught in the middle. As a penalty they're asked to perform meet as a dance an imitation a mono act or anything. This bridal shower game adds excitement to the party. It also brings out the latent talent of every guest that gets caught in the middle. Charades. Charades is widely known and played all over the world. This game can be played anywhere and everywhere. The game involves intelligence and recognition power. There are two teams made out of the guests one member of each team has to perform a mono act on the name of the actor or a movie given secretly to him. The guest only has to perform meters and not speak. The name of the character or the movie has to be guessed by his team. Within a time frame if any team member guesses the correct name his team gets a point. In the end the team with maximum points is declared as a winner. These are just a few ideas for bridal shower games to help create a great mood for the bridal shower party. 
they can add excitement and joy to the whole party and are a good way to get everyone involved as there will no doubt be guests who don't know each other. So get your party started with lots of bridal shower games. Brides and bloating. Prevent bloating before your wedding day. You've spent countless hours planning and dreaming about your wedding day which is now fast approaching. As you count down the days the panic begins to set in. How do I prevent the all too familiar pre-wedding bloating experienced by so many brides on their wedding day? Naturally, we as women may think, I'll simply starve myself and not drink a lot of liquids for a few days before my wedding. If I do so perhaps this will help drop a bit of weight and reduce some of that nasty cellulite on my body right? Wrong. Did you know that water retention is directly linked to what you eat, drink and your daily habits? Bloating is caused primarily by dehydration. The loss of water in the body can cause constipation. And the corresponding lack of bowel movements creates the tummy bulge. Here are six tips to follow for at least one to two weeks prior to your big day. 1. Drink 8-10 glasses of water a day. Drinking less fluid will not cure water retention and can actually make it worse. So drink plenty of water to flush the toxins from your body. Cellulite is a 4 meters of fat with retained water. When the body cannot get rid of the wastes and toxins it tends to store cellulite. 2. Try to eliminate salts and refined sugars from your diet. If you can t eliminate these types of foods then at least cut down on their use as much as you possible can. 3. Get some exercise. Go on a brisk walk even if it's just 10 minutes. Movement helps you lymphatic system drain and gets the blood pumping which increases circulation. Did you know poor circulation can cause water retention? 4. Don't skip meals. Much as you may think this is wise low-calorie diets have been shown to increase water retention. But do avoid high-fat foods. Incorporate protein in your daily routine. While you are running around getting all the last-minute details finished remember to reach for a yogurt, some cottage cheese or make yourself a protein shake. One of the most important nutrients to prevent water retention is protein. 5. Cut down on caffeine and alcohol. These liquids cause dehydration, plus their empty calories. 6. Take a good multivitamin. Find one that has a high content of vitamin B12 and 6. Stress robs your body of essential vitamins, plus you are probably not eating as healthy as you should. Vitamin B is especially good to take when you are under stress, or have bloating. I always take a daily multivitamin but supplement them with a good B vitamin. Of course it goes without saying that you should also try your best to get proper and sufficient sleep during this stressful period. If you can follow these six simple natural yet highly effective guidelines then you'll look better feel better and be as radiant as a bride should be on her wedding day. Take charge and eliminate that unnecessary and unwelcome pre-wedding bloating. Bridal bouquets. Here's five alternatives bridal bouquets are the most popular accessories for brides to walk down the aisle. But what if you want to be a bit different? Here are five alternative ideas that will work for both brides and bridesmaids. 1. Wrist corsage. This is a small arrangement of flowers that is secured to the wrist. Roses, orchids and other small headed flowers work best. The great thing about a wrist corsage is that both of your hands are free ideal if you are going to be hugging lots of guests. Bianca Jagger looked very chic having chosen a wrist corsage instead of a bouquet when she married Mick Jagger. 2. Pomanda. A pomanda also called a kissing ball is a round ball shape of flowers that has a delicate ribbon handle. This is easy to carry as the ribbon just slips over the wrist. Roses are the most popular choice for pomanders but you could also use gerbera or carnations. Pomanders are often carried by bridesmaids and flower girls but can look spectacular for the bride herself. 3. Hair decoration. Hair decorations can be both elegant and stylish. You can choose one large flower such as a lily to 4 meters the focal point of your arrangement. This type of arrangement is worn on the side of the head. Alternatively you could go for a circular halo arrangement such as Audrey Hepburn wore at her wedding. She had a halo arrangement of white roses that was worn on top of the head. In addition to flowers you can incorporate beads, jewels and feathers into your hair decoration. Have a quick chat with your florist. You could come up with a unique design that suits your personality and complements your bridegroom's bouton area. 4. Prayer book. Another choice instead of holding a bridal bouquet is to hold a prayer book or Bible. 
Some brides like to decorate the prayer book with a small arrangement of flowers and or ribbons. You could use a cherished Bible that was given to you as gift or you could buy a new one as a symbol of your new life and how you plan to lead it. 5. Lantern or candle holder. These are great for church weddings, especially if it's an evening ceremony. Candles are very romantic and will add to the ceremony. Use non-drip candles and a lantern design that fully encloses the naked flame to reduce the risk of an accident. The base of the lantern or candle holder can be decorated with a small arrangement of flowers to match the colors of your wedding theme. Bridal shower attire What are you going to wear? If you've ever stood in front of your nicely stocked closet had a number of discarded outfits beginning to pile up on the bed and still had no clue what to wear to the occasion that you are already running late for then you should know that you are not alone. As a matter of fact there is not one woman alive who cannot boast the same difficulty at one point or another. Of course the other reason why the outfits are piling up could be the fact that a well-meaning spouse or friend took one critical look at the ensemble you were wearing and simply remarked you are not wearing that are you. While this indecisiveness appears to be an epidemic for New Year's Eve parties the company holiday party and other assorted celebrations of friends and families thus far a bridal shower has not really ranked as an event that required a special kind of attire. Nonetheless don't you wish somebody would have given you a hint as to what kind of dress would be appropriate. Perhaps it is time for this to change. After all you've spent a lot of time coming up with the perfect bridal shower theme so why not go all the way and choose your bridal shower attire accordingly. For example if you are planning a bridal shower for your friend who will be going to Hawaii on her honeymoon, why not make the theme as well as the attire a Hawaiian celebration. Guests could wear Hawaiian shirts, dresses, perhaps even grass skirts. On the other hand if the bride will be going surfing why not dress in the height of California surfer fashion complete with bleached blonde wig and cut out surfboard. As you can see the possibilities for bridal shower attire are truly endless and guests as well as the bride will be able to capitalize on the individuality of the bride her planned honeymoon or simply the interests her and the groom share. If you are more formally oriented or if the shower will be held at a formal location you may wish to stay with the conservative ensemble of a skirt and blouse or perhaps a pair of dressy slacks and a nice blouse. Depending on the kind of bridal shower you are planning for the bride to be it's imperative to communicate the propriety of attire to the shower guests. As a matter of fact there are actually some commonly understood buzzwords that get the point across without getting into too much detail. If you'll be having a fancy party at a luxury restaurant please be sure to include on the invitation that the dress should be cocktail attire. This signals to the invitee that this is the equivalent of a black tie affair and she will know to get the little black dress off the hanger and pressed. This is especially appropriate for exclusive restaurants or hotels. If the party is not held at the ritziest place in town but a close second runner-up please be sure to specify evening resort attire. This simply means an alternative to the little black dress such as a nice conservative yet festive dress or skirt and blouse. One step down from this occasion would be business casual or resort attire. This is most appropriate if the party is held at the local country club. Shorts. Skorts and even short skirts are appropriate if they're properly cut and fit well in a mini skirt. As you can see questions of fashionable attire are entirely appropriate when considering attending or hosting a bridal shower. If you are fortunate enough to be hosting one please take the guest's guesswork out of the equation and instead let them know how to dress for the occasion. On the other hand if you are on the guest list of a bridal shower be sure to ask if there will be a dress code. Most often you'll be able to glean this bit of information when taking a look at the location of the event but in case you are unfamiliar with the venue a quick phone call to the hostess will clear up any questions and prevent embarrassing misunderstandings planning a bridal shower is an intensive procedure but getting the right combination of events will lead to a happy memory. I hope that reading the above information was both enjoyable and educational for you. Your learning process should be ongoing the more you understand about bridal showers the more you'll be able to share with others. Bride threatened by rival on wedding day wedding cake threat. The eye candy rival in the shape of a wedding cake is the only threat the bride has to contend with on her wedding day in looking good. Wedding cakes have become an essential decoration at wedding venues where guests still excite themselves over how splendid the wedding cake is. Choosing the right cake if done scrupulously is as easy as walking down the aisle.
Availability of cake decorators may be restricted at the bakery of your choice so be sure to check this out before finalizing any decisions on how you want your cake to look. An early chat with the cake baker to talk over the design and flavor is a wise move and should be done at least six months before the set date thus giving him her plenty of time to create the perfect wedding cake. You may need to pay a deposit fee for reservation. Wedding cakes have a flair for looking good but should also be scrumptious in taste for all guests dribbling at the mouth waiting for a slice of the action. The texture and flavor of the cake itself is important so when out shopping don't hesitate to ask for cake sample flavors. Some bakery shops will be only too willing to oblige. Make sure to budget well for your cake as they can be costly depending on the design. Wedding cake prices range from 300 up to 1000. Expect to pay the cake decorator's fee on top of the cost of the cake itself. Don't forget to ask at the bakery do they do free deliveries. Let them know how many are attending the wedding ceremony this will then give the baker a good idea on the size appropriate to fill everyone's belly. Most bakeries have a standard number of servings for each cake type. Not only are flowers worn or hand held by the bride at the wedding they're also popular for decorating wedding cakes. Fresh or artificial whatever you choose is your chosen preference. Fresh flowers are beautiful and can be strongly scented so select carefully make sure mine is free from chemicals. Consider sugar flowers an edible gum paste decoration that has wire toothpicks on and them also very tasty on top giving you peace of mind where number one gets poisoned. Summer weddings and cakes have to be carefully thought about when it comes to where the cake should be placed in the reception area. Keep out of the direct sunlight heat and wedding cakes not a match made in heaven. Keep covered in case of flies. Never under no circumstances place your wedding cake near the dance floor because the boogie bopper may cause a lot of heartache. A steady table is a must for the cutting of the cake. Wedding cakes are good to eat lovely to look at and will add beauty to your wedding for the perfect wedding you always dreamed of be sure to budget wisely if you don't. Excuse the pun you can not have your cake and eat it. Terms and conditions. Legal notice. The publisher has strived to be as accurate and complete as possible in the creation of this report, notwithstanding the fact that he does not warrant or represent at any time that the contents within are accurate due to the rapidly changing nature of the internet. While all attempts have been made to verify information provided in this publication, the publisher assumes no responsibility for errors, omissions or contrary interpretation of the subject matter herein. Any perceived slights of specific persons, peoples, or organizations are unintentional. In practical advice books, like anything else in life, there are no guarantees of income made. Readers are cautioned to reply on their own judgment about their individual circumstances to act accordingly. This book is not intended for use as a source of legal, business, accounting, or financial advice. All readers are advised to seek services of competent professionals in legal, business, accounting and finance fields. You are encouraged to print this book for easy reading. Don't leave before you press like button below and subscribe to this channel. As a subscriber you will receive a new notifications every time a new video is uploaded. Good luck.